camera or shotgun? The choice is yours. Join Sunny as she takes you hunting for wild boars. Scores of wild boars frenetically run through the dense forest. A true hunter's dream. And now we will show it to you. We will experience unforgettable hunting adventures. Crossing four continents in search of the world's finest hunting grounds, we will travel to Africa and Australia where wild pigs roam free. We will stalk for trophy boars in Europe and will take part in hunting battues in Asia. Share the thrill of the furious wild boars encounter with the fearless dogs. Feel the excitement. Feel the danger. Share the adventure. Join the gathering of boars and hunters. So far, we got to know about the winter conditions and the terrain where the best driven hunts of the wild boars in Bulgaria take place. We even saw the hunting luck of our guests from Germany. We will be at the hottest spots of the driven hunt where wild boars will try to pass the circle made by hunters. Will the hunters succeed in taking their share from the hunting fortune? In addition to the challenges of firing at rapidly moving boars by the dense trees, they will also have to bear the hardships of the winter climate in the mountains in December. Will they withstand the gusts of the hurricane wind carrying the half-frozen raindrops? Will the bad weather ruin the hunting plans of our guests? Will they manage to keep their precision and accuracy despite the freezing temperature? This is, after all, what the German hunters are famous for. We will find out next, so please make yourselves comfortable. The most interesting part of the winter encounter of boars and hunters is up next. Here we are again at the starting point of the morning driven hunt. The hunters had their rest in the warm and tried the hot game grill and the tasty soup prepared by the chef. After coping with the hard task of trying all the tasty salads and appetizers, they are still capable of moving around and it is time for the real relaxing time off in the forest. It is time for everybody to leave their daily cares and doubts behind and embark on the magic of the hunting luck. No hunter was left without a single shooting opportunity until now, and the afternoon-driven hunts would not make an exception. Furthermore, when someone gets lucky from the morning, most probably his luck will be repeated during the afternoon-driven hunts. The hunter to be accompanied by our operator is the luckiest one so far, and it is not by chance that one of the cameras will be at his disposal. After the continuous expectation, the animals appear amid the trees, and we understand that unfortunately we would not witness the real invasion of the numerous pack. The sharp hearing of the sow leader of the herd provided her with timely information about our location, and she leads the herd along the low riverbed where the hunter has no visibility. We are fortunate because the operator knows how the herd will react and warns the hunter about the place where the boar has probably disappeared. The firing at the large herd consisting of more than 30 animals made one of the boars squat and the hunter is confident he hit it. After the end of the driven hunts, we will have to search for it and until then we stand all chances of meeting the pack once again. The timely shot got the animals back in the driven hunt at full throttle, and the other hunters will also have the opportunity to try the precision of their backside.
After the end of the driven hunt, it was confirmed that several other hunters also fired at the large pack thanks to the first shots here at this ambush. It was the time to check for the wounded boar and the drivers got scattered in professional manner and in the direction provided by the hunter to search for bloody traces. Soon they found blood, but the drop traces were so scarce that their suggestion the boar was not lethally injured proved right, and it was not found even near the river where it was supposed to be if badly hurt. Nevertheless, the hunter managed to take down one of the boars, and now he has to put a new twig in his hat. The night is fast to fall in the mountain, and during the winter months the temperature rapidly declines after sunset. Fire is hunter's best friend until the pushers gather all fallen boars to perform the ritual of saluting the game and the triumph of the successful hunters. Unlike the morning melody Jagdhorn, now the trumpeters are about to play Han and Ru. Under the trumpeting sounds and the cracking large fires, the hunters gathered around the animals that were gathered after today's driven hunts. Eight large trophy boars and another ten small squeakers were a good result for the hunting group from Germany. After taking the individual photographs with the large trophy animals, the hunters were about to feel the cozy atmosphere in the hunting lodge where they would regain their strength after the cold day and the tiresome driven hunt. Here in the hunting lodge near the crackling fireplace, the luxurious trophy hall is expecting them where everybody is about to show the others that his hunting experience was the most interesting and the largest boar that he skipped was unbreakable. The sauna and the messages will for sure drive each memory of the cold weather away that sneak through the warm hunting clothes in the end of the day. Our guests from Germany come once again fresh, relaxed, and ready for new hunting adventures. Once again, we will be in the territories of the hunting house that covers more than 18,500 hectares of the mountain terrains and plains in the eastern part of Stara Planina. The so-called Balkans, after which this eastern European peninsula is called, are surrounded by Black Sea, Aegean Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea. The warm weather during the last week melted the snow at the open south fields and the mountain slopes, and now the dogs and the drivers will have the difficult task of coping with the muddy terrain through which they will have to pass in order to find and chase the boar packs towards the hunters. The nice weather and the blue azure sky that pleased the hunters during the last days have disappeared and now heavy gray clouds are piling above the mountain that do not bode well for the hunters and the drivers. The hurricane wind turning the forest upside down would hardly leave the animals move freely. The driven hunts are on the brink of ruin and the hunters will have to bear the full force of the storm in the open air. That is the way it goes up in the mountain during the winter. Weather changes in just an hour. The hunters are subjected to the gusts of the strong wind and the cold raindrops flying in parallel to the ground turning their presence here into the most horrific experience since the hunt beginning. The almost frozen raindrops penetrate through the hunting equipment and everything the hunters are wearing gets soaking wet in minutes. 
The first nightmarish drive is over, and the unpleasant rain comes to its end. Nevertheless, the wind is still blowing and clears the clouds off the sky. Together with the sneaking sun rays through the broken rainy clouds, the hunters regain their hope that they would be able to hunt after the storm that surprisingly caught them up in the mountain. The boars have hidden in the forest shrubs, and they didn't get a feel of the freezing cold rain. So now they make up for the lost time, gathering the acorns and berries thrown down by the wind. The hunters are not as patient as the game they are after. The strong wind could confuse the dogs, providing them with contradicting signals. Once the dogs get the boars' trace from afar, they could find them in no time if exposed to the wind. Nevertheless, the wind brings only troubles for the hunters, such as losing your hat because of the strong gust, or even worse, being blown in the thorny blackberry bushes. Wind with speed exceeding 50 km per hour could break the balance of someone with average weight and lift him or her off the land for seconds. It seems that the boars with their aerodynamic shape do not have these problems. The appearance of the cross-country vehicle in the end of this windy-driven hunt saves the hunters from the constant gusts of wind, and the air element looks as if it is disappointed because of the hunter's absence to be amused with and suddenly stops its attack. The wind calms down as if to comfort the hunters for their modest results of the driven hunt so far. Yet the last drive is still to take place, and it seems that the weather would no longer be a problem for their success. Here the wind has thrown down a huge tree, and the hunter takes advantage of the convenient trunk for observing the place. After the strong hurricane gusts, many of the old trees in the forest have fallen down, and the newly appeared hindrances at the pathway of the drivers slightly slow down their movement towards the ambushes. Yet the dogs and the people are following the traces of the numerous boars hiding from the storm in the gullies of the beach forest sections. There the competition between the animals of eating the greatest amount of hard acorns thrown down by the wind distracts boars' attention and they are not focused on the approaching barking. A newbie with a bow proves to be closest to the boar's group. As always, the new hunters are blessed by the goddess of the hunt, and the newbie's luck is on their side. Drivers and dogs slowly but steadily approach the location of the fleeing animals. There is just a gully and a brook to the herd. This is a distance of around 500 meters. After they climb the ridge, they will have a visual contact with the boars. Nevertheless, the animals are already restless because of the approaching calamity, and they will hardly stay at their places. The hunters are also ready for the action. Hunter's movement in the case of such proximity to the boars is the only reason for the arrow not to be buried in blood.
The drivers have made it to the shelter of the boars. Now it is essential for the dogs to navigate among the numerous traces in order to choose the freshest ones showing the direction of the pack escape. Some of the better dogs have already reached the boards, and now they will try directing them towards the shooters or keep them on the spot until the drivers catch up. The accurate firing amid the trees that was produced from more than 120 meters without any support from the hand and without optical proximity could only be described as virtuosity. There are not many hunters capable of such achievement. Spotting and leading the approaching boar amid the trees behind the piled up branches and earth, furthermore in the case of positive denivelation of around 25 degrees further narrowing the shot opening. We can't help but applaud the accurate shooter. As the dusk falls, we are being alerted about the end of the driven hunt, and all hunters and drivers near the ambush focus their sight and attention on the large boar. You can see by yourselves the situation at the time of taking the shot. Pay attention that the operator is higher than the hunter, and he sees even smaller part of the boar than you can see at the time of shooting.
today's episode, we witness several extraordinary shots that are worth being included in our rubric, The Perfect Shot. These are just some of the better shots we saw in this episode. The great distances from where shots were made and the dense forest in which the hunters demonstrated their mastery, as well as impeccable timing in terms of the precise moment at which the trigger was pulled, are all factors we've considered when selecting these moments. It is up to you to choose the most worthy in the perfect shot ranking. Now we will see the surprises the team of Safari Season and Hunting videos has prepared for us. We will see the close encounters of Archie Nesbitt with groups of wild boar during the winter-driven hunts. Will the famous hunter be able to hit the wild boars that are dizzily running through the forest with his bow? You can expect all this in the dynamic next episode of the series Boars and Hunters. We will also see the hunting adventures of our well-known hunters from Russia. How many wild boars will they manage to kill in the light snow? And will they take up all the places in our hunting ranking thanks to their perfect shots? Be with us next time so that we can witness the hunting achievements of the Russian threesome. Do not miss the next dynamic and thrilling winter episode of the deadly encounter between boars and hunters. <laughs>